Israel and Hamas are close to agreeing on a deal to release the hostages held in the Gaza Strip. That's according to Israel's ambassador to the U.S., Michael Herzog. Herzog's words echo those of an earlier statement by the Qatari Prime Minister at a joint press conference with EU Foreign Affairs Chief Joseph Borrell. Mohammed Al Thani said only minor details remain to be agreed for Hamas to free at least some of the more than 240 people kidnapped by militants in the October 7th attacks. Speaking in Doha, Qatar's Prime Minister said only minor challenges needed to be settled. The deal is going through. Uh, uh, ups and downs from time to time uh, throughout the last uh, few weeks. But uh, I think that, uh, you know, I'm now more confident that we are close enough to reach to uh, a deal that can bring the people uh, uh, safely back to their homes, whether they are the hostages on uh, Hamas side or whatever the exchange uh, uh, that will happen will take place from the Israeli side. We can now speak to our correspondent, Rebecca Ritters, who joins us from Jerusalem. Hello to you, Rebecca. So just yesterday, uh, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said there was no deal on the release of Israeli hostages from Gaza. What can you tell us about the status of the negotiations? Well, Mariana, this deal has been in the making for some days. We've been hearing, and you heard from the Qatari uh, Prime Minister there, saying this is a, a deal has been going up and down, and, and that's precisely what, what has been happening. There have been days where we thought, oh, it's, it's getting close to a deal, we're going to see some movement. And then, you know, we heard again from uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu last night that, in fact, no deal had been reached. We saw some reporting from the Washington Post recently. Uh, they said that the deal was very close, uh, sourcing... Uh, sorry, quoting U.S. sources. Uh, this deal is between Israel, the U.S. and Hamas. It has been getting, uh, you know, closer and closer, and it certainly seems that we're at the closest point that we've been so far. The deal appears to be for up to 50 uh, women and children, civilian uh, hostages, to be released in exchange for a three- to five-day ceasefire uh, from the bombardments in Gaza to allow for humanita humanitarian aid to be brought in and to, of course, allow for those hostages to be taken out. Uh, Hamas also asking for a prisoner exchange in terms of uh, some women and children that are in Israeli prisons. Uh, the sticking point, though, seems to be that ceasefire. Israel worried that it will allow Hamas uh, time to catch up, to catch its breath and perhaps rearm in this war. So we, 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 we do appear, the, the, the messaging, the wording coming out of all... From all the negotiators is positive uh, and it does seem that a deal is getting much closer but still we haven't seen uh, that come to fruition yet. And now Rebecca we've also heard that more than 30 premature babies have been evacuated from Gaza's Al Shifa hospital. What do we know about the operation that made this possible? Well it was certainly a ray of good news, a ray of hope in this otherwise really devastating war. Uh, these babies, 31 to be exact, have been evacuated from the hospital. It's been really uh, on top of the priority list for NGOs and for the medical workers inside the hospital to evacuate those babies once their incubators turned off uh, over the weekend because of a lack of fuel to run the generators in the hospital. And now we have seen that success, that successfully happened. It was a, 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 a procedure procedure carried out by the WHO in conjunction with the Palestinian Red Crescent Association uh, and of course the military as well, the Israeli military needing to oversee that as well to make sure that they were granted safe passage. We know now that they're safely in the south or as safe as uh, anyone can be in Gaza at the moment. The reality that there is no safe place in Gaza but those babies now uh, move to a hospital in the south. There is paperwork and arrangements being made that they will potentially be allowed to cross into Egypt to be taken over with some staff and be looked after in an Egyptian hospital there. Now, there are still up to 300 people, both patients and personnel in the hospital, very, very sick patients, complicated uh, to have evacuated. And that is the next part of the process to make sure that they are able to also evacuate from Al Shifa. That was DW's Rebecca Ritters reporting for us from Jerusalem. Rebecca, thank you.